to occupy and be counted. You know, she's the silver star. You know, people just couldn't hold the knowledge, but you can't make the student think. She's prepared. See, that's called corruption. There's a lot of students you can do. The guitar and the double bass, but to have a safe or secure life. We're joined now in the studio with Catherine Fasega. Catherine, thank you so much for coming. It's a pleasure to have you. Um, Catherine is a writer, producer, and director based here in Calgary. Uh, but you have a very rich history in um, film and television and production. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. Um, first of all, I would like to say it's a pleasure to be here. And um, you know, I feel really honored that you guys asked me to come. Yeah, um, my background in television and film has been that I studied film back home in Nigeria, you know, and I worked in the uh, broadcast industry. I made movies for television and did other things for television too. So that was many years ago before coming to Canada. Yeah. Right. So you immigrated yeah. to Canada in 2001. Yes. Um, so no doubt yeah. it was difficult to kind of find yourself in um, the industry here in Calgary. So um, can you tell us a little bit about that? How did you adjust to that? Yeah, it was really difficult. Like, you know, it's a whole different system, right? And um, coming here to Canada, I came, you know, under a different role. Like I came here with very young children. And uh, my first priority was to settle my children and integrate them into the society. And eventually when I decided to get back into the industry, you know, there were a lot of, you know, doors shut. And it's really, and I don't, I, I don't feel, you know, I felt bad, right? But I don't blame anybody really, because again, I came here an unknown, like nobody knows me and, you know, I can tell you what I've done in the past, but you don't know about it, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I knew I had to do something, you know, to kind of prove myself, yeah. Right, and so when yeah. you were ready to kind of step back into mm -hmm. the industry, you actually became a volunteer here at New TV, you were a reporter, so can you tell us a bit about New TV's role in your life and to integrating sort of back into the industry here yeah. at Calgary? Well, I really thank God for organizations like New TV because, um, you know, when I found, like, there was nowhere else to go, there were no opportunities, nothing to do, and somebody told me about, you know, NUTV, and I came here, I spoke with Justin and with Senu at that time, and, you know, so they, you know, opened up their hearts to me, they gave me the opportunity to come in. And I was coming in at a point where, you know, I had an, a lot of self-doubt, it's kind of wondering, okay, I've been away from this industry for some time. You know, do I still have what it takes, you know? And so coming to NUTV was very good for me because I did a few stories and, you know, it felt like, you know, I was home, you know, and it was almost like I didn't step away. So that helped my confidence. So actually I do credit NUTV a lot with you know, what I've done so far. Definitely, and so you certainly yeah. found your stride because yeah. you have finished, you've completed this movie that you wrote. So can you tell us, um, when you first came, when did you kind of know you wanted to write and direct this, this film, this treacherous heart that we're talking about today? Yeah, I'm actually like all my life, that's it's always in my thoughts. It's, you know, in my thoughts when I wake up, it's in my thoughts when I go to sleep that I'm going to, you know, write a script and I'm going to produce it, I'm going to direct it, I'm going to have a movie out one day, you know. So, and, you know, as the years started to go, it all felt like a dream, you know. And the story, Treacherous Heart, I actually started it as a novel. And it was one of that promised my daughter that I would write her a novel to read. So, I started writing Treacherous Heart as a novel, kind of, so something she might enjoy reading. But um, when I showed it to a friend and she read it and she was like, oh wow, this is so interesting. You know, it would make a really nice movie. And, you know, of course I caught on to that. And plus the fact that my children got to know, you know, about my past experiences and were, you know, kind of encouraging me to you know, go back and, you know, make movies again, so, wow. yeah. <laughs> Great, so before we talk about Treacherous Heart, we have yeah. um, a clip from the movie trailer, so let's take a look at that right now.
how do you expect me to fit into this role that you created for me? Mechanweba! Bite your tongue and don't curse yourself. Whether you like it or not, you will get married. All right, so Treacherous Heart, your film, so it deals with love and it's sort of about juggling different cultures and trying to stay true to yourself at the same time. Um, okay. What other specific issues does it grapple with? Um, I think the major issue is love and forgiveness. You know, forgiveness is a big one in the movie and it's an issue that we all struggle with in life. No matter where, you know, what your situation is, like there is always somebody who has done something, you know, that you find unforgivable, you know, but you know, forgiveness, the message the movie passes is that forgiveness is a healer, not just for the person who sinned, but for the person that was, you know, um, injured in that whole thing too. Like you get healed just by the process of forgiving somebody. So that was one of the key messages from the movie. Definitely. Yeah. And so um, the movie also deals with conflicts uh, that Im immigrants face. Um, so were mm -hmm. these um, any sort of issues that you had yourself? Did you sort of borrow from personal experience? Yeah, it's really, you know, like when I started writing the movie, I wasn't at the point, my children weren't at the age where I was facing some of the issues that I you know, that are addressed in the movie. But I'd seen it over and over again, you know, playing out. And it's really something which is in every immigrant, you know, household. It doesn't matter where you come from, like the clash of two cultures, you know, where the parents have a predominant culture that they've grown up with, and the children are here in Canada and they're growing up with the Canadian culture. And you know, most of the time, these children get caught in between because they want to be who the parents want them to be. And then when they go to school, they don't want to be different from their friends because you know, they see themselves as Canadians and they want to be like their friends too. So it's always a struggle for them. And our hope though is like the movie begins to open up these issues for discussion that parents will begin to understand that, you know, your child is really not just being rebellious. You know, they're trying to tell you who they are and we need to learn how to help them, you know, bridge these two cultures. Definitely. And yeah. so you've had a few very successful screenings of the movie already. Can you tell us a little bit about those? Yeah, um, you know, we're really going into the screenings. We didn't really know what to expect. Like, you know, the first screening at Chinook. At Chinook, we had two screenings mm -hmm. in one day. And, um, you know, the second screening was completely sold out. And, you know, that was, you know, mind blowing. <laughs> and yeah, then the second screening was also really good. And the third one, so the response so far has been really amazing, more than we expected. Yeah. Excellent. And so if our viewers want to kind of find out more yeah. about um, Treacherous Heart, are there going to be future screenings or is there a website or something that they could take a look at? Yeah, we're definitely going to screen some more here in Calgary, especially going into the fall, would have more screenings. Mm -hmm. And they can get this information on our website, and that's www.treacherousheart.com. And um, if you go there, you get all of the information. We've got a Facebook page too, and um, we're on Twitter, so you know they can follow us, may, uh, find us on Facebook, and then you get all the information. Excellent, yeah. and so what's next for you as a writer and a director? <laughs> what's next? Another film. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually writing the sequel to Treacherous Heart oh, now. Okay. Yeah. So, and um, yeah, I'm working on that right now. And hopefully, my plan is to begin to shoot it next year. And, you know, yeah. So that's what I'm working on. Yeah. Excellent. Well, we'll be <laughs> anxiously waiting for that. Thank you so much for coming in. It has been a pleasure You're to welcome. meet you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. We'll be Thanks. back.